or something. Oh my god. Really? What are you doing? Are you sure about that? Really? Can't say anything. Rambo. Welcome to today's video. I'm the Mad Rambo. In today's video, we're going to show you a quick and easy step-by-step -step guide on how to set up HUD FX for your channel. So you can do things like you've just seen and plenty more. And remember, Lumia Stream is the program you need if you're a content creator, whether that's on Twitch, YouTube, Trovo, TikTok, Facebook. And if you want to get even more out of Lumia Stream, remember to use my code TMR for 20% off. So this is Lumia Stream. This is the dashboard. Once you've got everything set up, this is what it will look like, which I can do a video on how to set Lumia Stream up from the very beginning if that is something you require or you wish. But please leave a comment below if you want that. HFX, Hood FX. You've got use of all of these, which the community make, and you can even upload your own by going to upload your own Hood FX, which will take you to this page. Now I'm already logged in, but you'd create an account for Hood FX, log in, and then you can upload your own videos. You can even color key out the background so you can make the background transparent. It takes seconds to do. So if you've got any of fun ones, scary ones, anything you can think of, upload them here if they're not already on Hood FX within Lumia Stream. But Hood FX isn't run by someone different. It isn't anything like that. It is run by Lumia Stream. It's just a website for you to be able to upload your own Hood FX and you can even look at your own leaderboards. You can also change your own overlays in here for it and set up your commands for it but i prefer to do that within lumia streams program itself so the first thing i'd say we should do is set up an overlay for this so i'll add a new overlay and this is what you'll be doing we'll call this hud test because i've already got my own hud overlay overlay description you can put anything you want on there we'll leave this at 1080p because that is what most people would end up streaming at or their own resolution for their monitors but you can have the drop down which has got the preset ones here and you can also have a custom one as well. So we'll go to add new overlay and it takes you straight into the overlay itself. And you'll go on the left hand side, you'll see layers, you'll add a new layer and straight away there is Hood FX, HFX video and HFX alert box. We'll click that and we want a video for this. And here it is. So we'll automatically scale to the maximum what you've got that set up to. So this is 1080p. Now bear in mind, my monitor is not a 1080p monitor. It's 3440 by 1440. Hence why it looks a little bit small. But you've got your settings on your right. You can rename it whatever you want. So you've got Q items and you can change the appearance. So you can change the, the size aspect ratio of it. If you do want to change anything of it, you can press edit which is next to the name of, of what you called this overlay so you'd press a little edit button there you can change the name description and you can also change the size of it so we've got the hood effects video one up and running there so we'll save it we don't need to put it anywhere else so we'll just close that window down and we'll just add a hfx from here we'll click this first one here we'll press use how do we want to use this do we want to use this in a chat command do we want to use it in a twitch point command or use the extension for me we're going to use it in a twitch which point command so all you would your redeem points in your Twitch. You can rename it and this will automatically add to your Twitch points as long as your Twitch account is connected within Lumia Stream. How many points you want it? Do you want audio playing? So I'm just going to leave this as standard. We're going to press done. New Twitch point damage has been successfully created. Always click refresh at the bottom. So now we've got a redemption on Twitch. We've got the video that we want to play on the HUD FX. We want to go back into the overlays. Then once we're in the overlays, we want to find the HUD overlay that we've created, which is this. HUD test we want to open as HUD so at the top would we'll click that now this is the settings where it's going to ask you well, where do you want it to go what do you want to happen so the first thing you'll see is a opacity of HUD leave that as standard because we actually want to see it we can set this as default HUD so if you've got multiple HUDs, you can select this as a default and you can also select this HUD to open when Lumia Stream opens, which personally, that's what I do. So I don't forget about opening my HUD so we can have these HUD effects coming on while I'm live streaming. The next thing is choose another screen. So if you've got multiple screens, which I've got four here, which screen do I want it to happen on? As a streamer, ideally, you'd want it as your main screen, your gaming screen. 
So here it is, screen one. We'll select that, press done, press open. And this is where it's showing you. This will open a HUD window that will act as an overlay on your desktop. To close this, head to the tray, right click Lumia and press close HUD, which if we move me out of the way, which is down here in your taskbar and you'll see it, Lumia stream HUD. And on here, if you left click it, you can show HUD, hide HUD or stop the HUD altogether. So that's your HUD set up, quick and simple as that. And we'll show you how this works right now. So we'll click refresh first before we do absolutely anything. As with anything in Lumia Stream, everything needs to be refreshed before Lumia Stream picks up that a change has happened. And then we can go into any of the overlays you've done to test anything so i'll just going to open the alerts one and we can go down to emulate and on here you'll see hood fx and on here we can just emulate anything so as you see there yes we didn't set that video up on my hood on my commands but this is showing now that this is coming through onto my screen we can also go onto your Twitch. You don't have to be live. You just open up your Twitch like this. So on your Twitch, if you press channel and then press your name, whatever your name may be, it'll bring up what your stream looks like while you're offline, but it'll also bring up your chat on the right hand side. So if we just minimize this a bit so we can see the channel point redemptions. So here's mine. So we can click that. And the one we've uploaded here just for this test is damage. And we can press that redeem. Emotional damage. That would come straight through on the stream, but we're not live. It's come straight through on the monitor. Now, if we go back into the hood, if we weren't happy where everything is, we can resize. We can move it around wherever we want. We can also go into the crop tool. So if there's any artifacts that you're not happy with on the video that either you've uploaded or someone else has uploaded, we can just bring this down to where the artifacts aren't or any colors or any objects that you don't want to see in the hood. But that's how we set up the hood fx that's how we can have a bit more viewer engagement maybe you want chat to maybe troll you sometimes which we have a lot of but that's how quick and simple it is to set up the hood fx through lumia stream it is a really really powerful tool so much more engagement to your twitch streams but not only that is if you want to have any clips or any recording saved these make great content for youtube or or TikTok or anything like that, any other platform. And this is just the beginning for HoodFX. There are a lot more tools being implemented within HoodFX to make things better. As with Lumi Stream in a whole, they're improving constantly and they take feedback and suggestions all the time on their Discord, which I'll leave a link below. But if you also want to see any of these happen, I do stream two evenings a week. Again, we'll leave a link below to this. But I'm the Mad Rambo everywhere on here, TikTok or twitch i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this please drop a like and a subscribe and if you've got any questions please leave a comment below but i have been the mad rambo and we'll see you in the next video